Hey, 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 Gemini. What's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for April. We're going to see what is going on for you guys in love. Who are you dealing with? What are you dealing with? Uh, we're going to see what's happening, okay? Um, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's general. Take what resonates. Leave the rest, okay? Check out your Moon, your Rising, your Venus. If you want a personal love reading, okay, the link is in the description box. You can also head right over to my Etsy shop, buy a personal reading there. Um, you can also buy one of my Oracle decks. I have my spiritual jewelry there as well. Stick around to the end of the reading. I will have Ask the Universe, okay? I will pick three cards from the Ask the Universe deck. Um, it has to be yes or no questions, okay? And I'll get your answer, okay? Um, you've seen this deck before, all right? There's no knowledge of tarot needed. You just go ahead and pick a card, okay? So that will be at the very end of the reading, your bonus reading for April 1st through the 15th, okay, is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel? What are they not saying? What are they thinking? Okay, um, what's going on behind the scenes? What's on your mind? All that. Check it out. It is up on Vimeo, okay? So let's jump right in to your reading. I'm going to start off with the Divine Love Oracle, okay? This is um, one of my Oracle decks. It is on my Etsy shop for those of you guys who are interested. Let's see what messages we have oh, for you guys. Let's get some shuffles in here first, okay? Messages here for Gemini. Clear messages here for Gemini. All right, so we got boundaries and we have run away. <laughs> okay, so boundaries. Um, someone needs to clearly state their position and draw the line. So the expectations of this partnership are clear, okay? So there could be someone here that you had to draw and make clear boundaries with okay i'm getting um there's someone who could have stepped out of boundaries they could have disrespected you they could have did something that you didn't like and you had to make it clear where you stood gemini okay now it could be also um vice versa this could be someone doing that to you okay um it's kind of like the seven of wands energy where you have to like stand your ground that's the energy i'm getting okay between you and your person right now maybe there's a very defensive energy okay between you guys we also have run away, okay? It says someone is trying to escape reality and avoid a responsibility here, okay? So um, you could be dealing with someone who is running away from the issues of the connection right now. There could be something that they're avoiding addressing, okay? That's their responsibility. And they're doing it to escape the reality of the situation here, okay? All right, let's get two more cards. Okay, wow, we got three cards. Okay, we have denial, okay? Someone is not ready to acknowledge the truth. So that's kind of going along with the runaway energy. So someone could be in denial of something, okay? Denial, not acknowledging the truth of a situation here, okay? We also have mysterious. Someone is acting secretive and revealing little of themselves, okay? So you could be dealing with someone who's very mysterious or maybe um, you're acting very mysterious toward them right now, Gemini, okay? And last but not least, we have confession, confession. Hidden feelings will eventually come to the surface. Hidden feelings will eventually come to the surface. So if your person is acting very mysterious right now, Gemini, they're in denial of something, they're running away from their issues or taking responsibility for something, there's going to be some kind of confession, it looks like. Okay, let's see how this plays out. All right, so Gemini, I'm going to do the Celtic Cross. And it's going to give a snapshot of what's happening, okay? So let's start off with the current energy. What is the current energy here for Gemini in love? So the world is in reverse, the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like there's something here, Gemini, regarding you and a person here where things haven't moved in the right direction or where all of a sudden it's like there's misfortunes, there's delays, okay? Something just isn't working out, okay? With the world in verse, you could be feeling like it's out of your own control, okay? Maybe you tried everything to try to move things 
going down the right path but it's like there's been obstacles there's been challenges here okay however i do feel like the challenge is at the same time to get something back up and running okay ace of wands is about wanting a new beginning a new passionate start okay i do feel some of you guys you could be dealing with a fire sign leo sag aries or a taurus virgo capricorn but there's someone who's been doing a lot of reflecting a lot of thinking about the connection and thinking about their investments in particular okay this is someone who could have poorly invested or they could did something that you felt like they could have done a lot more they could have been there for you or something and i'm getting that this is someone who's thinking about perhaps investing in the connection better um to have this new beginning or to support this new beginning that you guys want okay so let's see what happened in the past for gemini and this person So Gemini, in the past, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Sun and the Moon in reverse, okay? So we do have Leo energy, we have Cancer, and we have Pisces. So what I'm seeing in the past, there's something here that could have came to light, okay? There could have been something here revealed, a secret or something that was very mysterious, okay? Maybe your person was acting very mysterious, right? Something came to light and something was revealed and it gave you some clarity, okay? But it, at the same time, whatever happened, whatever this was, I feel like it also did damage the connection okay there was some kind of ending of some sort between you and another person okay and i feel like whatever came out yeah it made it made you guys um either break up or there was some kind of separation as a result of it okay the ten of pentacles and verse it could have been a commitment here um but what i'm seeing is that the sun you know this is about um something here being illuminated i feel a lot of you guys if you felt that something here was hidden, yeah, you know, it wasn't it wasn't hidden for long. So some of you guys, that could have been the confession, okay? Something here could have came to the surface and it was bound to, to come out. It was bound to happen. And some of you guys, I feel like they were hiding something. You're dealing with someone who was very secretive, but they were trying to hide something from you, trying to run away and not tell you something, but it came to light or this could have, this could be happening on revealing uh, or revealing itself right now, okay? Now let's see what's on your mind, Gemini. Yeah, I feel like Gemini, um, you know, you saw the truth of a situation. The Ace of Swords with the Eight of Cups in reverse, okay? So whatever came to light, there was something here that gave you clarity. There could have been some communication that came toward you. And I feel like it gave you the power to perhaps um, walk away or there's a situation here where, you know, whatever happened, um, you're emotionally trying to distance yourself from it, okay? There is an energy of someone leaving. So this could have been you, Gemini, or your person. But someone has... Um, so I feel some of you guys, you're dealing with someone who has not been emotionally available to you in this connection. And the reason is because there's something here, maybe they were hiding from you. Or they could have been in another situation here with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So let's see what's going on in the foundation, okay? You guys are thinking perhaps about, um, some of you guys are thinking about maybe returning to a situation after getting some truth, okay? Take it how it resonates. What's in the foundation? The Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, ooh, the Tower, and the Page of Swords. Wow. So whoever you're dealing with, it could be a Leo, a Sag, and Aries. We got strong Scorpion energy as well. Um, what I'm seeing is that someone is finding themselves um, very much left out in the cold by you, and they don't like it, okay? This is someone who wants to definitely come rushing into you. Um, this is someone who has something to say, and this is the same person who wants this new beginning with you, okay? This Ace of Wands with the Knight of Wands, this is someone who's passionate. They're very excited. They're very energetic. Now, they may tend to start things and not finish them, okay? Because they're coming across as this Knight of Wands, and it typically is a very immature energy. But I feel like whatever happened in the past, whether it be secrets or unsolved mysteries this is someone here who's now finding themselves at a lack they're finding themselves left out in the cold okay and they are keeping an eye on you and i feel like this is them going through some kind of uh disaster or devastation in their life being without you they could have caused a tower moment between you and them okay the tower is um it, it is kind of like a blessing though whatever this tower is um it, it's causing a shake up in the connection but it's also clearing out anything that doesn't serve the connection okay and i feel like this tower is definitely beneficial to you and its person in fact um i do feel like your person whatever this tower is okay it certainly could have created like a some distance between you guys initially but i do feel like your person is wanting they're coming up with some kind of plan on how to close the gap here okay this is someone who's been watching you ever since there's been some kind of break up or breakthrough or something here um 
yeah, I'm feeling like this this shakeup was necessary. But I feel like, yeah, they're, they're definitely keeping an eye on you with the Page of Swords. They're watching you. They're checking your, your posts on social media. Is that kind of thing, okay? So you could be dealing with a um, also another Gemini. You also got Libra and Aquarius, okay? So let's see how we finish off this reading before I clarify, okay? What's the outcome here? So the outcome, we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. Wow. And the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, you definitely have someone coming towards you to confess, right? We have the confession card. Hidden feelings. Okay, what does it say? Hidden feelings will eventually come to the surface. So if you have not been talking to your person, if there's been like a very mysterious energy, if they have been very secretive, they haven't revealing, uh, been revealing their true feelings for you, Gemini, well, yeah, they're lying. They've been in denial. They've been in denial of their feelings for you. And they're not being truthful. And so I do feel with the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, you guys can definitely be expending, uh, expecting some kind of communication. There is some kind of communication coming toward you. It could be a, it could be a passionate communication because it's being carried by the Knight of Wands, okay? Um, but it is some kind of heartfelt communication with the Page of Cups. It could be an apology. It could be saying, "Hey, I'm you know I'm really sorry for what I've done. Uh, I want to ask you for your forgiveness." But it's something tangible. It also could be followed through with like. Um, an offer to meet up, okay? There's something tangible here. So it could be a text message of some sort. But what I'm seeing is the Queen of Pentacles is here. We're going to clarify with the Queen of Pentacles. There could be an... Um there could be an offer to move toward this Queen of Pentacles energy where something is stable, whether you guys are um, moving towards something more committed, okay, or repairing a bond of something here that has been broken, okay? So let's see. Let's get some clarity, uh, if this is your reading, Gemini, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Your bonus reading for April 1st through 15th is on Vimeo. So be sure to check that out, okay, if you're interested. All right, let's get one more good shuffle. So we have someone who's doing a lot of reflecting, the Seven of Pentacles. They're thinking a lot about their actions in the past. Maybe they could have done better. They could have treated you better. They could have invested better. And the challenge is to have this new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. It doesn't look like things have been moving in the right direction. Again, with the world in reverse, if things have been changing. Um, and it hasn't been changing in the right direction. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like, you know, whoever this person is, Gemini, they do have a lot of love for you. The Queen of Cups is here. It could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. Gemini, that's your energy with the lovers. And the lovers came out in a verse. So a lot of you guys have turned your back on this connection. Um, even though there was a very strong connection here with the lovers, right? There was a decision that had to be made. And a lot of you guys felt it was necessary at the time. But I do feel like regardless of the decision, there's there's always been love. There's been a mutual love, unconditional love between you guys. And um, I feel a lot of you guys have been dealing with this person for a very long time. We got something about seven months, seven years, seven months to seven years. There's something about investment. You guys have invested a lot into this situation and the connection. Now, in the past, let's get some clarity on the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Moon. So I really feel like in the past, there's something that became clear. Perhaps it was regarding um, an empress here, okay? But there was something here that someone feels like they've let you down with the Five of Cups. They feel like they could have done better. They feel guilty. They feel um, some kind of some kind of regret or, or sorrow regarding a situation. It could be regarding, um, you know, maybe they wish that they had nurtured you better with the Empress energy. Maybe you guys I had a child with this person, okay? We got the Sun and we got the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you guys definitely have a family here. But I feel like your person was either in denial of something, right? The Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, they were not truthful about something. They've got some in denial energy. And I feel like, you know, your person may have been, you know, dishonest and lied with the Ace of Swords. They didn't tell you about another situation situation maybe they didn't tell you about dealing with a third party that's for some of you guys a select few of you guys there could have been a third party that they refused to tell you about i feel like whatever that situation was it's coming to light and it came to light with the sun and the moon in reverse okay and this is something here that has been revealed okay there's something here that was revealed that this person was hiding but what i'm seeing is that after this reveal it did it did kind of cause some damage here to the connection um the ten of pentacles in verse maybe you guys split up maybe you guys you know moved out of the home or something and ever since then there's been some regrets there's been some sorrow there's been some wow i really let my person down okay in your person's energy okay let's see ace of swords and the eight of cups in verse some of you guys gemini um 
you're standing in your power. You're seeing the truth of a situation. But I also feel like a lot of you guys, you still have um, love for this person. Ace of Cups came out in reverse. But even though you have love for this person, you've not been offering anything. You haven't been entertaining this connection. Um, but some of you guys, you have a deep knowing that this person is to return. Okay, the Eight of Cups in reverse. Whoever left, this is the energy of returning. So I feel like, you know, the love is still there. Even though you've distanced yourself from this person, you're energetically still connected to this person. There's still emotions and feelings here. And I feel like, um, you know, you're standing in your truth. You guys are standing in your truth because you know what you have to do? You have to let this person know that, hey, this is where I stand, okay? This is what I want and I'm not accepting anything less, right? Again, boundaries, right? You need to clearly state your position and draw the line so your expectations of this partnership are clear. And that's what you guys have done with the Ace of Swords. But at the same time, I do feel like you guys are becoming weak. If there's something about this person that makes you weak or your your love for them makes you weak, okay? It's kind of like you set these boundaries, but then you, you it's difficult to um, uphold them, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. Now, let's see what's coming in, okay? Your person's energy is definitely they're feeling left out in a cold. They're feeling abandoned by you. They feel neglected in some way. They feel like you're not treating them, um, <laughs> treating them good anymore, okay? The Knight of Wands is well. They want to come in. Yeah, I see that your person, um, there's an energy of someone giving up and someone putting up a block. So they feel as if if they were to come in, they, they wouldn't be able to. The Six of Cups in verse. So this is someone who realizes that they've really done a number on you. They've, they've, you know, they haven't really treated you well or they feel like there are some things that they regret. They wish they had done. They hadn't done, okay? Um, and I'm seeing that there's still some blocks here. There's still some major blocks. And um, the Nine of Wands is telling me that someone has really felt for this connection really, really hard in the past. And it's almost like, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm not willing to do that. I don't want to go through that. Um, but I do feel like the tower is here and it's indicating of some kind of big, big change or transformation within your person. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing that your person definitely, they're thinking about something long-term, the Ten of Pentacles and a Magician in reverse. They're thinking about commitment, they're thinking about family, settling down, home, security, you know, and the thing is, is that they want that with you, but it's almost as if they can't do it alone. They can't manifest this alone, and so that's kind of why they're watching you. They're trying to decipher if this is something that they can come back to, they can revisit with you, because again, they do see these blocks. Um, but they're also wanting to come rushing in the knight of wands because well they feel left out they they miss you right the problem is is that again your person left up on a bad note there's some memories of the past that aren't so good and so they're kind of like not really sure do i do i give this a chance do i just give up the magician inverse is telling me they may not feel like they have the confidence or the power or the ability to to bring some kind of change to the situation but what i'm seeing is that they're at least going to reach out the page of pentacles with the page of cups they're at least going to reach out tell you how they feel they could be expressing their love to you it could be an apology as well the king of cups look at that king of cups energy this is someone who really does love you um two of wands and the knight of knight of cups in reverse so what i'm seeing we've got cancer pisces scorpio energy so this is someone who um even after everything you guys have gone through, this unconditional love, okay? This is someone who wants to love you. They want to express their love. They want to tell you how much, you know, you're still in their mind. Um, and with the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, this is someone who's ready to express, ready to make a move towards you, um, or at least send you a message, send you a message of, of uh, love, okay? But what I'm seeing is that the Two of Wands and the Knight of Cups, so some of you guys, you have to make a decision if this is something that you want, okay? You want to um, accept the Knight of Cups and versus someone is emotionally closed off or blocked, okay? Maybe they haven't really, um, they made a decision already to not revisit the situation, right? So I do feel like in Gemini, this could be you. Maybe you're, you've kind of moved on, but there is a decision that you have to make. The, the Two of Wands indicating, well, two paths, okay? Two options, two places, two, you know? So you have to decide on if this is something here you want to revisit, okay? Because um, the Knight of, the, sorry, the Queen of Pentacles is telling me that your person may want some kind of stability here. Yeah, look at that. The Six of Wands. They want a victory. And a victory regards uh, is regarding some kind of commitment or some kind of um, 
reestablishing something here with you all right so that is what i'm seeing for you gemini if this is your reading like share comment and subscribe i'm going to ask the universe um your three questions so think of three questions and i'm going to pick three cards all right gemini what is your first question Still much work to be done, okay? So whatever you guys are asking, it says there's still much work to be done, all right? Um, again, if this reading resonates for you, be sure to check out your extended. It's on Vimeo for April 1st through the 15th. How does your person feel, okay? All right, what is your second question, Gemini? 50-50. Why do we always get that, huh? 50-50, okay? Not really sure. Let's get another one for that one almost positive okay so not quite sure 50 50 it's almost positive it sounds like it's leaning toward a positive okay so let's think of your third question and ask your third question Oops, okay sure thing okay sure thing all right gemini that's what i have for you guys like share comment and subscribe check out your extended bonus reading um up on vimeo if you want a personal love reading also let me know you can also go straight to my etsy shop okay you guys take care have a great week